Stephen's going to do an opening request at the uh, infant daughter tombstone. All the people investigating the paranormal at this location are sealed from all imperfect energies and are protected and guided. Any spirits or entities encountered are commanded to remain bound to the confines of this location. We don't mean you any harm. We don't mean any disrespect. We just want to talk to you. But you have to stay here. There's people that don't believe you exist, and we need some proof that you are here. We feel your presence, but we need you to prove it. Are you trapped here? Do you like this place? Do you not like this place? My name is Dr. Tuckman. I'm a scientist and a skeptic. But I'm open to any influence you can think of that would help me change my mind. Now would be a good time to do some kind of signal or other manifestation that would make me be more open to my son-in-law and my grandson's theories on the paranormal. Testing. Testing one, two, three. I'm not laughing at this place. Roger. The word is. I'm going to demonstrate one of the ways that we check the validity of EVPs um, using Adobe Edition and the vocal subtraction function. This is the one EVP we got uh, where it kind of uh, sounds like a female's voice. <coughs> it sounds like she's saying hmm or hmm. <coughs> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through a vocal extractor filter. The effects, filters, center channel extractor. And if I can vocally remove that, it's a pretty good chance that it was equal energy on both the left and right stereo field of the digital recorder. If it removes it pretty, pretty clearly, it removes it, there's a good chance that it came in bypassing the microphone. So let's see, I've got vocal remove set here. Let's hit a preview. So as you can tell, it, it's removing it. And I'll amplify it so now you'll, it'll come back. So that is one way to check the validity of certain EVPs. In this case, it came in as equal energy on the digital recorder, probably bypassed the microphones. Now, as an example, if I go to another part in the timeline here, right here where Joanne is speaking, Walter. she says the word Walter. Walter. Now we know this is not an EVP, this is Joanne speaking. So let's go back and do the same thing. Let's go to the effects, filters, center channel extractor. Let's see if we can do a vocal remove on that. See if it removes it. So you can clearly see that it can't extract that because there's stereo information because there's a real person talking acoustically in the environment. So this is just one of the ways that we present validity to some of the EVPs we get before we actually present them.
1921, the mother and the twins died. The father died in 1915. Yeah. Alright, so I'm Stephen Veach on behalf of V Paranormal 1, and I'm going down the, that famous trail that leads to the pond or the water where bodies were supposedly dumped back in the Al Capone days. So let's see if we can take a little adventure down here. Is there anybody here that wants to talk to me? I don't mean any harm, I just want to talk. Give me a sign, make a noise, talk. I can't hear you with my own ears, but I can hear you if you talk into this device that I'm holding. Thank <laughs> you. 